Oh yeah, just like that. Pop turd cherry. <laughs> first time. <laughs> You're gonna get me banned from YouTube. <laughs> maiden voyage after I had fixed it but I had to go somewhere quick and I took my car and I didn't grab my GoPro or anything but within about five or ten minutes I started smelling fuel real bad and I drove it for about 20 minutes to get to my destination and by the time I got there it was just it was running rough you could tell it was running on like three cylinders and there's just fuel blown out everywhere. So it was a little sketchy, but I got my car parked. It's been sitting there. And now today I am getting my car towed because it's at a, it's at a convenience store right now in the parking lot. And I'm getting it towed to my buddy Luis's shop. He ordered parts, we're just gonna go ahead and do all the injector seals because I'm pretty sure I had another one blow out. It was uh, it was a different, it wasn't the same injector that had issues this time, it was a different one. So we are going to get all that figured out and hopefully work on it tonight and that, that's the plan, but I'm gonna continue this video for the next time that we do work on that. Should be tonight, definitely needs to be tonight. But I'm excited to get my car fixed, and I hope that it is done tonight. Really, fingers crossed that it's done tonight. And then I'll be able to shoot a video of us taking it out. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. There she is, boys, on a trailer. Going to the shop. Alright guys, it is that time to get my car into the bay way down there i'm really hoping i just will start to roll here oh yeah we're good wait i don't even have the keys in <laughs> won't be able to steer it there we go that's all we needed we're good here take this and do what? I'm gonna push. You don't have to. Not till we get down there. We're good. Oh, she made it in on her own. Damn, I think it's faster with the engine off, honestly. Yeah. Definitely is. We got cooking, dude. We got some speed going on. This thing smells like gas so bad. It's kind of unreal. Actually, it's not unreal. I'm just blowing fuel everywhere. I see Miss the problem. Mr. Headlamp. It is a Honda. That's the problem. I don't hey. Work, I don't work on these things here. Hey, you know I mean? at least it's not a Volkswagen. And it would have been better if it That's was. That's why you have three cars and they're all broken. Actually, I have two cars. Okay, the TDI is broken. And this, and this big turbo GTI here with the Papa John's thing on top, it blew a oil return line from the turbo. But he just went and picked another one of those up, so hopefully we're going to fix that tonight. We might drive it since it's fully legal now and running it's been it's only been six months well, I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> it was leaking pretty bad let me try to get my phone somewhere here yeah the whole f <laughs> that's bad you just see the injector coming out it's not even in oh yeah i kind of started to tear it apart the other night <clears throat> at 7-Eleven where it was parked, but. I wanna take off this line and pull the rail up completely so I can see it. What, this line right here? 
but yeah, I think the best solution is gonna be zip tie it back down because the idiots that did it before snapped the bolts. Uh, guess what? You're in luck. Guess who just went and bought 20 zip ties from Home Depot? I, have a, uh, I did. Freaking container full of them over there. Oh, so. I should have just set you up. Out here spending money I don't have to spend. I looked up the uh, melting point for a zip tie to see how much heat they can handle. And it's like 425 degrees. Yeah, you shouldn't have an issue with it. Yeah, so there really should be no issues. Side, so yeah, because like as long as your engine doesn't get that hot. It's not going to. Which it isn't going to. And if it does, it's not going to be running. For real. So. Yeah, whoever worked on this before probably shouldn't have been working on cars, honestly. I don't know. Like, I, I rigged sh Not that good. <laughs> <laughs> What exactly are we doing here, Luis? I'm trying to get the fuel reel to actually see what the idiot that worked on it before did. <laughs> and... Well, it looks like we're about off. We are off. Which one's the one that was originally leaking? This, this one? one. This one, one yeah, this one was the one that was originally leaking. Okay. Here, boom. So yeah, look, fuel as, rail as you can tell here, is off. The fuel rail is supposed to be bolted up here. Oh, and all the bolts are broken off, literally. Yes. That one's broken off. Here, slide that. Yeah, we can see. Kind of. Yeah, that's broken off. You can see in there. That one's broken off. Right here. That one's broken off. Broken, broken. All three are broken. And that's on the intake itself. And I'm assuming the reason why is because of these bigger injectors. They made the fuel rail sit out further. So they tightened it up and it just snapped the bolt. Yeah. Because it never... Well, that would make sense. Alright guys, we're going to jump into a time lapse. Well, we found one of the issues. See that gasket here. Get your fat thumb out of the way. Of the I'm trying to spin it around so you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing's bad. It's probably why you had a fuel leak. Probably. But at least one went out, so now we can do them all. Also guys, I have a bad connection here with my HIDs because I do not have a low beam. So I figure while we're in here and Luis has electrical tape, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and fix it up. That's not my electrical tape. That's uh, my band-aid tape. Oh, your band-aid tape. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. How bad this connection is. I barely touch it and it's going off. So that needs to go down in there better. It's pretty bad. It's like Christmas lights over here. So that's what we need. We need that to stay on. It's gonna take a lot of band-aid tape, we see. Oh, went out again. Honestly, you might as well just cut them connectors. And, and Splice the new ones together? Mm -hmm. Which connectors? The, cut that connector out of it. Actually, you can't. I'll just look at it. Oh, I can't cut it out? Look how wet that is inside there. It's not supposed to be. But isn't it? I mean, what you could do is you could cut it here. 
put a flat blade connector on it and then just connect it here. You have to do that to both sides and then just tape everything up. Well, that's probably going to work better than keeping it like this and just taping this up. So I guess that's what I'm going to do while he's doing this. Core's getting lots of love today, guys. Tons of love. Okay. Except I forgot a gasket set at my house. So, let me get some light out. This rubber piece fell off right here. Where are we? Right here. So, we're gonna be slapping a new one on there. Getting her all good to go. Right now, Luis is gonna throw the oil line, oil feed line back on his GTI and we're gonna take that so I can go get the rest of my seals that I forgot at my house for the injectors. And then we're grabbing food, so it's gonna be a nice fun night of activities with Luis. But yeah, you guys might remember Marco. He's yeah, got so the Mark 7 GTI, what, you put some new wheels on it? Yeah. I'm gonna go look at it. What are they, rotiforms? Yeah, they're rotiforms. 19s. You need to lower it now. Yep. And exhaust. It looks good with them, though. That's crazy, that's a 19. That's a big wheel. Those used to be on Weezy's old um, Mercedes that he used to have sitting here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened to that? He sold that. He sold the Mercedes? Yeah. He didn't even tell me. But he had the other rotiforms on it. Yeah, those were mine. Oh, those were yours? Yeah, I traded those for him. Oh, okay. I see. I didn't know he sold that. But yeah, if you guys have not watched why you should buy a Mark 7 GTI, just scroll down in my video posting and it's there somewhere. And then I put a K in then. Oh, that's a little guy. Yeah. That thing is tiny. <laughs> it's and like a diverter valve is over there. Oh, you put the diverter valve in it? Yeah. Nice. That's it. Nice. That's all I did. Yeah, do this. Intake. Intake is tiny, like I can <laughs> grab it. That makes some nice noise and stuff. Oh, I bet. Now that you kind of opened everything up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, guys, I'm actually going to do a two-part video on this. I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be stuffing a lot of stuff into one video, a lot of random stuff. So we're about to take this out. He's finishing up this uh, oil feed line, and it should be good to go. So we're going to take that out, but you guys are going to see that in another video. This thing makes like... How much power do you think this makes? It should make more than 350. More than 350? Yeah. Okay, so more than 350, I'm about to jump in the jump behind the wheel. We're gonna go have some fun. But that's gonna be in another video, so and it's gonna come out after the video of this thing getting fixed. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, a little bit of an exhaust manifold leak, what he just said, but uh who cares? Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, you can hear it. Grab some things we need for this, and yeah, we're gonna send it. You're gonna have to hit hardwood first. Yeah, for sure. Now, guys, we finally made it back after dealing with Luis's car. You guys will see that in the next video, so stay tuned. Uh, keep an eye out for it because that was that was eventful. But we are back here now. We're finishing up the box, and how's it going? Going pretty. Yeah, can't complain. <laughs> Even if I did, no one would care. As long as long as we're not blowing fuel out after this, I really don't care. I mean, hopefully the power steering pump don't go. Oh, out. that's what I need to do. I forgot I was working on this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Connector kit still in the car? Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna do that so I have a a working low beam. 
Got them working like new now. That was an easy fix. All right, so fuel rails back on, injectors are back in, and because, like you saw in the video earlier, these bolts are snapped down here for the fuel rail to bolt into the intake, where um, we're doing some redneck stuff. Zip ties are stronger anyway. Zip ties, yeah, they're not gonna break. I'd zip tie my head in place if I could. <laughs> You don't need ARP, you just need zip ties. Exactly. It's almost as good as duct tape. Duct tape, zip ties, and WD-40 is all you need in life. No, PB Blaster, that's way better than WD-40. Yeah, it honestly is. It is. I honestly use that more. I love that stuff. But guys, this is more or less a temporary fix until... No, temporary, it's going to become term permanent until you K20 swap it. K24 swap it. I do have a... I do have a... Yeah. You just ruined everything, Luis. <laughs> because I do have a K24. I don't think I've mentioned that before. But I have it. It just needs rebuilt. <laughs> and we want to boost that. Yeah, so that's gonna be a lot of money. So because everyone knows you can't boost H22s. Yeah, exactly. You can't boost H22s. If you do, you're gonna be sitting on the side of the road. Like my Volkswagen. Like yeah, like your Volkswagen. Exactly. Because in order for me to, in order for me to boost this engine, I could do it. I just can't tell you how long it's gonna last. Because everything I've read about these cars, they like nitrous, and they're just good for NA builds. If you try to boost them, they're gonna break. Unless you send the block out and get re sleeve, but I don't have that kind of money. Like we just said, I do have a K24. All right, folks, we're about to fire the old girl up. Let's see. Ready? Watch your face. Anything? Huh? Start it? Almost flooded. Yeah, we still have to do that. We are good to go, looks like. Fingers crossed, hopefully. I hope so. She's alive. Say what? Oh yeah, that's not good. Alright guys. I don't even want to stay here with you. I <laughs> sorry about sorry for hating yourself. Jeez. <laughs> you gotta love yourself, man. I hate my life. I think we all do. But alright guys, car is done. Um we're gonna come back on Friday and probably adjust the um timing belt tensioner because it's a little loose. So as much as I wanna go out and just shoot a video right now of of us ripping on it to make sure everything's good and secure. We're not going to with this. So I'm going to baby this thing, and I mean baby it for the next like two days, cause this thing is, you can see this belt here. Actually, I'm trying to get the light on it. It's just, I can turn the whole thing. 
which is pretty you're not bad. Supposed to be able to yeah, do that. you're not supposed to be able to do that, and we're doing it. So it really kind of sketches me out. Now I need a napkin. It's, uh, it sketches right. me out, but I don't have any other options. So we're just gonna send it and come back on Friday. So I'm only driving to and from work this week, and that is it. So another video coming Friday on timing belt tensioner, and then we'll be able to go rip on it. I'll take Weesey with me so he can film. Cause it, cause it, it's too hard to try to rip on this thing with one hand. It's too all over the place. And if we're gonna have it up in the air on Friday too, over here on this lift, might as well pull the tires off and drop it down a couple inches. No, thank you. I'd rather not. Well, I'll do that while you're doing everything else. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and we will see you guys in the next video.